Well, good morning. Welcome to the Double M Farm. Thought I'd do a little quick video of uh, the almost finished product of our workshop with the board and batten siding. Uh, for anyone who is building any kind of buildings on their property and trying to decide on a uh, type of siding to use, uh, I have found this to be as cheap and easy and simple a siding as I've ever come across. Very, uh, very inexpensive, at least at the time that we're filming this. Prices seem to be changing on an hourly basis. But uh, it's worked out real well up to this point. For those who have never seen our video of our shop, maybe back back up again, you'll probably recognize it as one of these 18 by 20 carports. Uh, build a uh, deck, wooden deck with OS, tongue and groove OSB, and then assembled the carport on it. Then I closed it in with OSB and then wrapped it in roofing felt or tar paper as some people call it and then now i have come back and put the siding over the roofing felt and what we have used i'll walk around to the other side where i haven't finished yet to give you a better idea but what we have used this is the shaded side it's the cheap eight foot doll geared fence boards that you can get around here. You get them at Lowe's and Home Depot for about two bucks a piece. And they're roughly five and three quarter inches wide and around three quarter inches thick. Um, and they are a cheap treated board. There's no structural value to them, but for siding, they're perfect. A lot cheaper than any siding board that you would buy. And then for the batten, we used treated um, lattice strips. I uh, also found these at Lowe's. Home Depot didn't have these, my local Home Depots. But Lowe's did have them. And they're thin and flexible, so they work perfect for going over the cracks in the boards. And they're six foot, so that does mean that I have to have some seams. Uh, I wish they came in eight foot, but they're not available in eight foot, at least not around here. But as you can see, in my opinion, it makes a very nice board and batten siding. Uh, has worked out extremely well. Now, the uh, boards have been up on this front part of the building. These boards have been up for about two months. And the strips were just put up yesterday, the batten strips. So that's why they're so much lighter. They have not weathered yet. So as they weather, they will blend in and be the same color as the boards. And uh, I think give it an even better look. Right now, they, it looks like looks like you painted white strips on it from a distance. But they will uh, they will weather and uh, blend a little better. But uh, if if budget is an issue. You can't do much better than this. Like I say, the boards are, depending on what part of the country you live in, could be less than $2 a board in some places, around $2 here at the time that this video was made. You can see right here, I ran out of strips. I've got to go get some more. This is the last one I put on. Putting them at every seam, just like a typical board and batten. And I don't worry too much about the gap because the strip is going to cover it. You can see this one is much tighter. But I'm putting them on with finishing nails. These are uh, 4D inch and a half finishing nails. And I'm putting the nail right in the seam so that the batten is not attached to the boards. That way the boards can expand and contract behind the batten. And uh, I've got, uh, this is a roughly a three foot strip, this gap that I'm having to fill. And I've got four finishing nails and that pulls it up good and tight and uh, fills in the gaps. And you can see these dog eared fence boards. Here's where I ran out of them. There you can see the roofing felt. 
And uh, I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube showing how to do board and batten siding. And I figure most people watching this know how to run a saw and a hammer. So I didn't film actually putting it up. You know how to do that. Just thought I would give you an idea of what the finished product looks like. So you can make up your own mind if you wanted to try it. Again, if budget is an issue. Uh, let the roofing felt overlap and then after I get it up, I take a razor blade and trim it off just for looks. And uh, I've got to get a few more. The boards are eight foot and I can cut them in half. That's a, a four foot. It just worked out that way that that's a four foot gap there. Didn't plan it that way. That's just how it happened to work out when I built the building and closed it in. And uh, it's a six foot tall build, uh, excuse me, five foot tall building on the legs, the five foot legs on the carport. But after I, uh, when I assembled it, it's sitting on a two by six plate. And then I used a two by eight here as a plate. And then that left me the four foot gap so that a four by eight sheet of OSB would fill it in. And then uh, the four foot, the eight foot dog eared boards cut in half. So you get two strips out of every board. So basically you're looking at just a little over a dollar per board there when you consider you're getting two out of each board. And then of course I use one top and bottom. That way I don't have to even square off the uh, dog ear. There's a little gap I left here for moisture drainage and you may can see, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but you can see the dog ear on one end of the board. Didn't worry about trimming it off because the trim piece that I put on there covers it and squares it up. So the only thing I had to do was to trim off the dog ear end so that I could butt each piece up against each other. And makes a really nice, I think, board and batten siding. And I'll come back probably tomorrow and finish this side out. And then the only thing left will be the back wall. You can see how much slope we have here, how high the building is off the ground on the back side. But we'll have to come back and do the back wall just like we did the front. And uh, I think it'll work out real well. So just wanted to, to share my experiences with this particular board and batten siding and a very efficient. I know if you go and buy boards that are made for siding, they're going to be a lot more expensive than a little over a buck a board. So uh, again, $2 a board, but when you consider you're getting two out of one board, in my case now in your case it might not be that way but for me it worked out a buck a board and speaking of the carport cover i bought this thing used already taken down laying on a guy's farm he had taken it down quit using it and i bought it for 200 bucks and with material and everything i've wound up with a workshop 18 by 20 uh, and it's about seven and uh, not quite eight foot. That that door is seven foot, four foot by seven foot. I used a sheet of uh, OSB on the inside of it and then put the siding on it. So it's four foot wide and I cut one foot off of it. So it's a seven foot door to give you an idea of the top. So it's roughly right at eight foot to that peak from the floor. And uh, just simplified everything, made a lot less cutting. And so what I have wound up with is a very nice 18 by 20 workshop and storage building. Got overhead storage. Got a lot of junk piled up in here. Have a little office area for my farm operation over here with my computer and my CB radio. And uh, then got... Uh, Workshop, workbench area over here in this corner. And then the rest will be uh, used for storage. Lots of open storage. You can put up shelves. You can do just about anything with. Bottom line is I've wound up with an 18 by 20 workshop storage building. And I've got less than $3,000 in it total with everything that I have used. 
Uh, so can't beat that. I don't think you can go buy one of these portable buildings in an 18 by 20 size for um, for less than three thousand uh, dollars. You may can in your area. You sure can't in my area. So, didn't mean to be so long-winded, but I wanted to share my experiences with uh, what I call a very simple and inexpensive board and batten siding for pretty much any building that you may be interested in putting siding on. So, thank you for visiting us here at the Double M Farm, and we'll talk to you again real soon.